Hey y'all, well finally, I'm going to give you a quick once over of my new filming area with these custom bookcases that my husband built. I'll go up a little so you can see how high up they go. Yeah, with all my bags, this looks like mostly the Brahmins. <laughs> and there's some of my uh, little more expensive bags over there. And then on the bottom is kind of my mid-level where I've got coaches and Brightons and my hammocks and um, what am I trying to think? Michael Kors and uh, anyway, so and then right there in the middle, that's going to be my handbag of the week book. But right now it's just got my Prada hanging on it, and uh, then I've got this cute little Mackenzie Childs. Um, what am I trying to say? A little dressing area, and I'm going to use that for my little still to sit on and a little preview right there of what I'm going to show you on this very first uh, video in my new filming room. And um, let's see what else. Is there anything else I should show you? Um, oh, well, this sitting area over there, this is where I'll be doing Bible studies now. And that's the city. I don't know if you all remember from the guest bedroom. We've got it set up in here. You can see my lighting there. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to do Bible study from uh, Beth began pure Bible, so I hope y'all be checking into that. But for today, I am going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that you can see what I'm going to be reviewing. And also for you to notice that I'm going to have little um, vignettes of, um, you know, the season. So there you see my little pumpkin candle, little pumpkin. And then over there you'll see some little white pumpkins. And uh, on these middle shelves, I've got some little night lights just to give ambience, which I'll show you all that at another time because there's some cute lighting and stuff in here. Still working on what we're going to be doing for window treatments. So anyway, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. We'll get to right about there. What do y'all think? Oh, by the way, I've got, you've got to zoom in on this little gal. Is she the cutest little plant you ever saw? She's got crazy hair. I forgot what kind of fern it is. But I don't think it's really happy in here either. Okay, I think it needs a little more light. So I'm probably going to have to move her out a little bit. Okay. So, whoops, let me go back up. I've noticed that this is not as stable um, as it was. So I think it's time for, honestly, I think it's time for a new, new um, see how wobbly that is? Um, let me just see. Is that better? There. Actually, I want to zoom in because um, hmm. I hope this will work. Let me just see. Let me just see. Uh, because I want y'all to be able to see what I am bringing to the table today, which is guess what? Yes. What else would it be? But a handbag. A new handbag. And as you can see behind me, I have a good bit of Brahmins. Uh, comment below if you would like to have a full Brahmin review. And um, because when I get my new camera, uh, I am going to be getting one that can, that will allow me to um, film more than, I think it's 12 minutes at a time. And I think it has something to do with taxing laws or something. Anyway, so... But there are new cameras that can, and uh, without editing, because as y'all know, until I retire, I don't have time for full, long um, form edited videos. Because people who have full time that, uh, they spend three to five hours on just editing. I don't have that kind of time, so mine's always live. So what do y'all think? What do you think of the new backdrop? Okay. So this purse that I'm going to show you is a Brahmin. It is a Marissa. I've never had a Marissa. It's vintage red Melbourne genuine leather. And this one was $325. Um, I have literally held onto this and held onto this and held onto this. I haven't used it so I could show it to y'all. Why did I get this particular one? I have never had a Marissa so I think it looks kind of like it's a bowling bag type like a speedy this would probably be about a speedy 30 size would be my guess maybe 35 um and it's more squared off than a louis vuitton speedy 
but it's just um, one of the styles that I have not tried yet and so I wanted to try it but what really attracted me was this vintage red it looks like the red in my convertible it is just that old red leather I remember it always reminds me of the red leather chairs in my grandmother and grandfather's um, farm kitchen and um, I don't think it was leather as it was probably vinyl but it was the same color this is not a flattering color on my skin like for lipstick because I'm so pale that it kind of washes me out but I just fell in love with it so I'm gonna start with the wallet this is a, a larger wallet I mean, I'm going to put it by my face. Y'all know I always put everything by my face. Um, it's not their full size. It has the checkbook and all that, which they still do that. And I'm just like, how many people still have a checkbook? But it does have places for lots of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine um, card slots. And also when you open it to this, you've got the wallet um, size for cash that we still do cash. <laughs> um, but what I really also liked about it is on the back side, it's got a full uh, double zipper. Um, you know, I say coins. I don't have coins. Remember, whenever you get these things that keep things dry, set them in a place a child or animal could not get them and then cut them open over a toilet um, so that it it's just it's not damaging to people they're very dangerous um if someone were to swallow that it could kill them so um anyway i just like that because I, I don't put change because i mean who really uses change anymore um but i do put my eyeglass wipes and my oral b toothpicks you know the ones that have the floss on one end and the pick on the other and some other little things in there that i might put in there so I just fell in love with this wallet, and it's a little pricey to be a half-size wallet. It's very, very pretty, but it was $175, which that's, again, put it the size of my face. And also, it's the perfect size for being in here, and I did want to have a matching wallet. Plus, it can go in a lot of my other Brahmins. So let's get busy and open this up. I do want to, um, to have y'all be able to see everything. So I'm going to go kind of quickly. Whoops, I should have brought my scissors. Ooh, that hurt. Y'all, something's going on with my kneecap. I'm just getting old and having stuff, you know? Um, hold on. Yeah, when I was coming up the stairs today, I almost couldn't make it up. I wore heels yesterday all day, and for the first time in a long time, because I work from home, and that may be what did it. I don't know what did it, but my kneecap, I can barely put pressure on it. So that's not good. Okay, these are just little pieces that they do. Two make it pretty. I mean, to keep it formed. But, you know, most of their bags are very structured. This one is no different. I love that it has the little feet on the bottom. Um, the pocket on the back is not just big enough for a cell phone. It's a full drop, which is great to drop your cell phone in there. So easy. You can put your keys in there. It's a zipper top. It's got two rolled handles. You see it's got the... Um, the Brahmin signature, um, I call them bag tags, <laughs> um, but very obviously Brahmin quality zipper. Oh wow, it's just going to be a huge bag actually. And of course it has the matching um, shoulder strap and you hook that to the place that has been made and reinforced on the bag. They use it diagonal front to back to make sure it hangs right on you. But don't hang it like here because that's not made to take the weight. This is. It's got structure inside the bag to hold that. Um, so never just add a shoulder strap anywhere, especially not at the handles because it will it will tear the handles off eventually. All right, so my goodness, y'all, this is a big bag. I hope I don't overfill it. But anyway, look. I always do this so that you can see the size. Look at the, the size in here. Okay, so... It's got a big, all the way across the back, zipper. It's got two um, pockets with two pin places and the Brahmin dust bag. And, oops, two more of these little guys. So we gotta make sure we open that out of the toilet. And it's got uh, the little tag in the bottom sewn in that says Brahmin. They, I don't know how long they've been doing that. And they've always had this, the place to put your keys on just so that if your keys fall to the bottom 
um, you can find them easily just by finding that and pulling them up. I usually put my keys in every bag that I have in the zipper pouch. So whether it's big or small, I always tell Lance, inside the bag, look for a zipper pouch. My phone will always be on the outside pouch. If the phone does not, I mean, if the uh, bag does not have a pouch, I'm not happy because I like to be able to grab my phone. So what do y'all think? Here it is on my arm, on the crux of my arm. Let me stand back here so you can kind of see. I've already got an outfit this is going to go with. It's really cute with my denim, um, my Chico's denim um, jacket and a, a maxi dress that's just all casual, but it has this color red in it, and I think it's going to be really pretty. I'm going to come up close so you can see it. I'm going to come really close and then pull back so that it will focus. There you go. What do y'all think? I feel like this is a really good purchase. I mean, I really do. Um, we'll see because what this does remind me of is these two right here. That's a small Finley. And let's just put it next, right in front of it. And you can see it's about the same size. Look, red, white, and blue. But this one's more squared off, whereas that's more like a trapezoid or, you know, it's smaller on the bo bottom, bigger on the top. This is more like a true square, just a little rectangular. But um, look at the the width, that's where you're really getting a lot of the, the size in this. If it was skinnier, you wouldn't have this kind of size. I'm trying to think what's close to that out of the Brahmins. Maybe the small Caroline, but look, that, that's way bigger. So that's a new small Caroline as well. So I'm probably going to be reviewing a lot of those bags, but y'all tell me what you think. And we know that the shoulder strap's adjustable, so it's going to be fine. Tell me what y'all think. And I'm so glad we're finally in here. We're going to do a lot more videos. Love you guys. Bye.